Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It is an absolutely beautiful day out here in Ohio at RV Nation. And today I'm going to give you a tour of the 2022 XLR Hyperlite 2513. This is a great travel trailer toy hauler, one that I think you're going to absolutely love. It is really just a great floor plan. It actually won RV News Travel Trailer of the Year for the 2000. Uh, 21 year so this is definitely one that um, you know not only i love but you know obviously a whole bunch of people do but i'm gonna throw some specs up on the screen so that way you can take a quick little read through on the weights and garage sizes all that fun stuff and then i'm going to jump around you know on the inside and then swing back around here on the outside give you a little more in-depth tour but again the 2022 xlr hyperlite 2513 Let's go ahead and get it started. And if you guys don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button for me. Looks like I'm going to fall just a little short of my year goal of hitting 5,000, but that is okay. It was a lofty one, and I am pretty darn close. A couple hundred off, and I am not disappointed. But if you walk in this camper, it has everything that you need, you know, in a toy hauler. It's kind of a get me done floor plan, and the fact that you have, you know, this space is going to be shared living space and garage space. So, you know, toy hauler. So you got tie down, tie down, tie down, tie down, tie down, tie down. So you have six tie downs in the back of this. And from here, so this area right here is going to be 13 feet, four inches. So plenty of space to put your toys. I went ahead and, um, you know, kind of laid down this back patio. I didn't want to set it up here today. So I want to show you kind of what it's like when you go back to storing it. So you're going to flip this back up. It's going to lay, you know, just behind here. But that's how your railings, you know, will kind of sit. And to set it up is as easy as this. You just take your hand right here. Oh, I forgot to take off the bungee. So there's a little bungee cord right here. You just take that off. You lift it up. And then you just swing it around back open. So extremely easy to take apart and put down. But I wanted to show you what it kind of looks like in store mode because not a lot of people, you know, really show that. So you got your three seasons door right here. So you got a little screened in. You can also close this up. So a little bit of a little airflow in for the, uh, you know, for the springtime or fall. And to push those off to the side, you just grab that right there, pull it down. And you can open it up you know it's uh it's removable so you know that's nice for when you're traveling right here you got this kind of a dovetail finish is what i would call it, but you got a little slope there so if you're pulling in you know a motorcycle a harley something that's a little bit longer it doesn't bottom out right there you're also going to notice you have four little pucks so there's some tables and some legs that you can drop down in there use these couches right here flip them down set them up have a little place to maybe have some dinner, play some cards, you know, enjoy some of the scenery here out behind you. Whew, sorry, I'm out of breath. Getting over a little bit of a cold here. But this right here will also lower down to make a nice queen size bed for you. In addition, these two couches, if you're not too familiar with toy haulers, you know, you can flip those over there, roll over bed. So that will make one big, you know, queen bed as well. So plenty of space or plenty of sleeping space in a camper this size. You also notice that you got a window over here and you got another window right there as well. You can also remove these just with a couple pulls, you know, of some pens. There's going to be four pens that hold up each one. You'll see the tops right there and right there also on the other side, but you can actually remove this entire bed as well. All right. So now looking at it from the back half, you got your entertainment area, you got a fireplace that will heat up this entire camper. No problem. If it's 35 degrees out you can set that thing up you know it'll keep that 65 70 degrees with absolutely no issues you might need a little bit of heat back in the bedroom if you were to uh, you know have those doors shut but if you left the door open it'd be more than enough two recliners a very very nice large size window over here to your right and right here's going to be your cooking zone so this is where you're going to get stuff done you know food wise you got a little prepping station right here Put yourself on a little, uh, you know, topper right there. A lot of people are doing those little roller, you know, drying racks. 
but a single mounted um, stainless steel undermounted bowl with your residential high rise. Pull that out, doing some dishes. You also have a little light right here. Plenty of storage there all around. You can see that has a little bit of a lip. That's just going to keep things from rolling around up there for you while you're traveling. The Furion microwave. Storage there up above. Let me get some of these out. We're getting ready to pull this into the garage to prep it. Three stove top Furion burner. Good looking little black splash there. And you got a little oven here. So nothing too crazy with the oven, but just enough to maybe bake a pizza, some chicken fingers, pizza rolls, whatever other foods you guys like. You're gonna see you got accent lighting there, so it's nice and dark in here. You know, it's nice to have a little bit of that touch. We don't have to turn on all the lights. Three storage compartments. You have two that look like this. And that right there is your tire pressure monitoring system, which I'll show you here when we get to the outside. And you got one larger one here down below. All right, so above this window over here, you got a couple lights, a couple outlets. You got one set of outlets here, one set of outlets there. Each side comes with the same storage. So you got that sitting on the corner. This little middle piece right here, which I have seen some people you know, kind of drill in some mesh netting up there, which is pretty nice. Then you have your entertainment area. So again, I already mentioned that fireplace, so we're good with that. You got yourself a sound bar, and that comes with a couple different uh, zones. So you have inside, outside, and then both sides. You can play music, you know, inside and outside synced up. Your Connex TV. A little bit of storage up here. A little bit of room to maybe glue down some knickknack items. Your gas and electric refrigerator. So the AC, it is ducted, but it is nice. You do have that quick cool area. So, you know, you can just push that right there and it'll dump it all right back here. So if you're hanging out, you want to cool this down, you're more than capable of doing so. You also have a little fan there to kind of keep some air circulating on those stuffy days or maybe you're cooking some food you know you have a way of getting that air moving around so the bedroom and the bathroom they have dual entries so you got this entrance right here and then you got that entrance right there good storage along with a central vac system right here i'll zoom in there so hook up a hose kick it on you can sweep out whatever you need to sweep out. Just makes cleaning a little bit easier. Good size shower. A little extra sunlight there up above. Or maybe if you're, uh, you know, seven feet tall, you can put your head up there. Put a towel. Now, surprisingly enough, most campers don't have that. So that is kind of a few cool feature. I don't know why you don't see that or why that's even a shocking thing to have. But it really is. Little sink right here to get the job done. You know, brush your teeth, do all that good stuff, wash your hands. The max air vent, so you can turn that on. Bada bing, bada boom. You also got a little bit of storage there underneath, as well as another outlet. All right, so this bedroom, I love, before I go in there, it's got a little reading nook. Boom. I think this bedroom is absolutely awesome. This is kind of a shining star on this camper. And probably why it won, you know, that travel trailer of the year, you know, award. Because I think this is just sweet. So this camper, you know, it's not too large. But having a bedroom like this just makes it feel so much nicer for those long-term trips. You're going to see you got outlets right here. Outlet USB. So you can lay down, read a book, plug in your Kindle, your laptop, whatever you'd want to do. And get some relaxation time, you know, right up here in this front window. This is tinted, um, so, you know, it doesn't let in too much. You can also black it out. So, killer feature to have. I absolutely love the front of these XLRs. I think they're doing a fantastic job with that. Um, yeah, you also have, if you lift this up, you're going to see 
got some storage right there as well. So to the right and to the left of that awesome huge window up front, you do have a room for, you know, some hanging closet space. So you need a week's worth of clothes to hang up. Boom, you are good to go. Two of you traveling, so you need a second one. You also have another fan here in the bedroom to keep things circulating. And then this bed is the slide out. So it kicks out, gives it an extra, you know, couple feet of room right here. So you have some walking space. You know, I'm six feet, 290 pounds. And you can see I'm getting through this, you know, with absolutely no problem. And back in that garage where I showed you those little pucks, that's what this plugs into. So, you know, you drop the feet right in there, flip it around, lay it on top. You're good to go. Can't get out of the camper in time. The uh-oh moment happens. Hopefully you never have to experience it. But right there, you got your emergency exit. Flip, flip, push, drops out. You're ready to go. You also have a room for a TV backer. And here are going to be your hookups. You got your satellite hookup right there along with a couple outlets. This camper does come. You know, you can activate your 4G LTE Wi-Fi. You'll need the, um, I think it's called a gateway controller. I'm not exactly too sure on that. And then you got a little dresser here. So there's going to be three of these. And then with this bed being on the slide out where it is, you got some good storage there up underneath as well. So they did sneak in some additional storage. That about wraps up the inside here. Uh, again, the 2022 XLR Hyperlite 2513. If you guys haven't done so yet, uh, if you guys hit that like and subscribe button for me, I'd greatly appreciate it. Let's give you a little peek here. Let's head out outside and wrap this Torsky up. All right, so you got your aluminum structure, vacuum bonded sidewalls, means you're going to have less problems, a little bit more money, but it is much nicer to have. Like I was telling you about the zones. Right there is going to be your zone B. So you have a marine grade speaker here, a marine grade speaker there. Gives you a good view of the size of these windows. You also have this absolutely massive awning. I would guess off the top of my head, you're probably, you know, if you're 13-4 here in the back, I would say what? Probably 16, 18 feet. You also have your LED strip running underneath, which just about every camper has, but something nice just to point out. Dual axles. All the stabilizing jacks are gonna be powered. So with a click of a button, you know, you're just holding that light switch down and the jacks come up. It's gonna be four points. So you got one right there, another one up in the front, which I'll show you. Right here, you got a place, your little Y bracket. So you just stick that right in. You put a TV right there, a couple outlets for you, as well as a satellite cap right there. All right, so before, if you didn't quite get what I was telling you about setting this up, so bungee, you unhook that. This is kind of in that travel mode, you know, that store mode, keep it sturdy. But all you're going to do is lift that up, undo a couple of the little, see if I can show you that, a couple of those brackets right there. You just unhook that, and you just <laughs> open it on up, and you're good to go. But really lightweight, really nice and easy. You know, it's pretty good. And if you just want to lay it down like your traditional toy hauler, obviously you're loading stuff in. All you have to do is hold this, pull this pin, and you're good to go. Store those cables back inside. You're also going to see you have a couple LED lights there up above. And this camper does come prepped for an observation camera. So that runs you $550 installed. But it is nice for when you're driving down the road to be able to see, you know, what is going on behind you with little distance markers you know, it just makes life a little bit easier while towing. Right in here, you got something pretty neat. You got yourself a fuel pump station. So if you're out traveling around, riding dirt bikes, riding the motorcycle, you don't want to stop at a gas station. You turn your pump on, it's just like a gas station. You know, you just put it in. I believe it holds, let's see if it says, I think it's 30 gallons. It could be 20. I'll have to definitely double check that for you. But, um, you also got your different connections, your city water connection, fresh water connection, black tank flush. And then you have your little spray port right there for hot and cold water, which is nice. It's a 50 amp unit. So right there is going to be your plug in. You 
exhaust pipe for the generator which right there you got everything that you need and owning 5500 that'll power up this bad boy with zero issues this is a cable driven slide and what you're going to see in the xlrs is they laminate these sides so you know sturdy as can be a lot of your keystone brands and stuff like that do not uh cannot compete with that right there or maybe they just choose not to i guess i should rather say it's an expensive way of doing it but it's the right way of doing it All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Uh, my name is Hunter, and again, this was the 2022 XLR Hyperlite 2513. Hope you have a wonderful day. See ya.